Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got this great big feeling. Everything's going my way. Well, it looks like I'm just about ready to install these concrete pavers. But first, down in storage, I have this. Here, I've got to get that out. And that's that, that stuff, half inch stuff that fits underneath the concrete pavers. And then it's got that black matting material that's breathable that after all, everything goes down, if I want to put sand in the joints, I can. Now, they used to have sand in here. And I can see where it's kind of, when it got rained on, it washed down. And so I'm going to have to put a little bit more sand in there. But that's what they did along these cracks initially because if you saw me remove all these tiles, you would have seen all the sand that I had to take out. And the sand where the lines were, this was dipped all in and all the sand from here flowed over and filled up this hole right in there. So I'm getting... I'm getting ready to do that. You remember I, I told you I had to cut these shims. And these are these are now an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm lining those up for these tiles here. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and just put it down. Because the next row is offset and they stop about here. And then the next row after that is in line with those, and they come out over here and I should measure that I'm pretty sure that's uh, 24 inches See the next tile comes out 24 okay it comes out to there it comes out an inch further I could I could move these back a little bit you know take all of these I guess are they going to stay there? Probably not. I mean, I could take a little caulking and, and spooge down on it, but if I have to, if for some reason I have to move those a little bit one way or another, or maybe it's pooched up too high or something, then I'm going to have to pull the caulking off. Or I could put these on top of the next bit okay so there's my shims and I went around and I touched up the black again the black caulking down in here where I thought it was needed and I even got my paint out and I've already painted I painted this trim again I even went down further and painted along the edge of the floor why did I do that well I don't know if this black matting fits tight all the way down to the edge okay and my last tiles are going to be short from this by maybe half an inch so when you look down there I, I didn't you look down between the, the last concrete paver and the trim I didn't want to have to see any white okay so I just went around the whole the whole thing same thing over here because I know I know these are going to be short a little bit and so I thought I would paint a little bit around the edge. Now, some of that was probably an overkill but hey I thought might as well do that and I even painted up on the wall where I stopped the black because if there is a tile that's cut short of this wall let's say I don't want to have to stand there at an angle and see, oh yeah, there's some white down there. I should have painted that. Why didn't I do that? Okay. So I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much done. And you want to see that patch I did yesterday? There's the patch. The stucco patch. I think that turned out really good. The colors, the colors right on in there. Nice. Nice job.
Mr. Joe with your stucco patch. Okay, so it looks like I'm ready to get that uh, that material and put down on this floor. Man, it's been a long time coming. This is almost like my masterpiece. I'm almost sorry to have to cover it up. <laughs> I guess it's time to go get that stuff. I'll be right back. I got it at the bottom of the stairs. I got to carry it carefully. Because that's where I cut it over there. Geez, they didn't do, they didn't cut it very well, did they? See here. There's their cut, it's short. It's short around the wall, which is fine. It's short from the end. And it didn't need it didn't need to be perfect anyways. See here I got this I got this pretty much lined up. That's where I cut it to get it out initially. And so that cut is good. And see how far off that edge it is? Now can you see if that tile's cut short? You'll be able to see all the way down to the to the ground. I could have almost done that black, huh? On the floor in there. But I got I got a secret weapon what I'm gonna do there. You're not gonna be able to see very much anyways because the tiles cut pretty pretty uh, good on that end. Okay? And I know that piece went first because I took this one up, this one first, and then this one next. This one fits right up where it's supposed to be. And this kind of dive bombs, this stops right in there. And then it kind of, it kind of goes down that edge. And so I know the next, the next one's gonna overlap this a little bit probably right into there. Oh, I think I did pretty good to, to keep that stuff all together. Okay, so now I've got my shims, my shims underneath here. I think, I think that's going to be okay. So now I've got to go get my, my next piece. Okay. Okay, I got the next piece. This one was all pulled apart and I fixed it pretty well. I think I showed you that on another video, how I taped it all 
glued it on the back side, little pieces together, and then took some shipping tape and taped the back side to kind of hold it all together. So hopefully it doesn't fall apart on me. You're all right there. It's looking a little, a little short over there. This one looks fine over there. It's tight right there, and I'm away there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide this to the right. just under, I think it's just under that. I think I, I think I can still slide it to the right. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it doesn't really have to. concern themselves too well about how they cut those did they look at that look at that you see why I painted that in case you want to look down there when the tiles are all done just so it's not white hey I think that's gonna that's gonna have to do all right <laughs> now it's about putting these tiles. I'm gonna have to clean this up and I'm gonna set my, my cardboard out. I'm gonna set that cardboard out over here because I just kind of walk it back and forth, the tiles. And I've gotta get my uh, little flat crowbar. I've got some, some little uh, pieces of plywood there that are ready for when I set it down. And hey, if you were wondering about my water test, Day. The water's still there. It's receding a little bit, but I think it's it's because it's drying. It's evaporating. I don't think it's leaked into that bucket. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. 
Uh, that's in three more days. This is the fourth day of that test. Okay? So we got everything ready. I'm glad I, I painted all the way around the edges so I don't have any white. See, before they had black everywhere. So if they were short, it, everything looked black, right? And we didn't have that, did we? We put down that roofing material and that just happened to be white. They didn't have any black like that the store. Okay. All right. Next step coming up.